You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. Good evening from X30 Center as the band happily plays on Maryland 78 66 over Iowa. Now Maryland 6 and 8 in the Big Ten, as is Iowa. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Bosner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, it didn't start well, but it ended well. DHS. That's what this game was about. The kid broke out. Really had to. I mean, the first game, the, the, he performed the way everybody thought he could. Maybe it's a sign for the rest of the season. But with him getting those points, and J.D. Kaiser adding, I think, eight points, there you go. That's the win rate. Right? DHS, 17 points, 7 of 10 from the field, 2 of 3 from beyond the arc. Uh, yeah, Juju at 16, 7 of 10, 13 rebounds, and Jameer Young leads it all. 21 points, 13 of 13 from the line. At one point, Maryland was 10 of 10 from the line. Uh, they end up 22 of 26, I believe. Everything went right. I mean, today you beat Iowa twice in the same year. That's quite an accomplishment. You know, beating him at Carver Hawkeye, then beating him, beating them here when you were down 26 to 15, and in, in this Peyton Sanford, hey, give him credit, he was great. But I feel so good for DHS tonight because he plays so hard, and for whatever reason, there was something clicking with him tonight. Well, this is the first game in a while, maybe the whole season. He doesn't start. Jahari Long gets the start. Mate Traore only has 10 minutes, but he was impactful in the 10 minutes. He hurt his knee later in the game, and we're not exactly sure what happened Let's to hope him. it's we'll minor, find. and, you know, we'll take it from there. But DHS, he, he did it all. Look, he always does it on the defensive end. That's never been the problem. But tonight, tonight, he injected really a lot of spirit, a lot of good shooting, a lot of, te a lot of teamwork, a lot of passing. Everything he did on offense turned this game into a victory. And I know that Kevin Warren's got me feeling real good tonight because we still have the season ahead of us. It doesn't seem like it. No, it doesn't. But we still do. You got Illinois. You got a chance for a quad one win on Saturday. And I hope the fans show up as they did tonight. I, I will agree with that. Back to DHS. You saw what happened when he starts to actually play bully ball and it works. He took it to the basket. He absorbed the contact. There were several times when it looked like he got fouled and they didn't even call it. But, you know, that's a freshman in the Big Ten having to take those lumps. But when you can kick it back to him and he can make the three, it changes everything. All of a sudden the lights go on. He looks like the guy we thought we were going to get. Yeah, there's no doubt he was an A player tonight. He was a four-star like they say he is. And, and maybe... Maybe he could put it on for the rest of the year. Maybe we don't, you know, do that great this year. But if he continues to play like this, the sky's the limit for this team. I feel that with all my heart. Don't you? And then Kaiser played well. And and if you add in Matty Traore, all, all of a sudden you got three guys that as it turns to March, suddenly look like they might be able to play basketball, which was the question. This whole season up at this point, uh, can these guys really play? If you can do what you did tonight, the answer to that right now is yes. 78-66 over Iowa. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. We'll be back in a moment. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackson. Who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs. DJ Moore? Really? Now, come on, you know. Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. Back on the court at Xfinity Center, you start to talk about what's down the line. And if you can play at home for the last seven games or at home, do 
you think you can repeat this with home games? Or we got six games left. For now we have six. We have right. Illinois here, Northwestern here, and Indiana here. We can win all three, but I don't want to say that because we could lose all three. You could, right? Um, but Wisconsin, Rutgers, and Penn State on the road. You gotta find a way. You know, I think Wayne they really have to get to eleven wins. I don't think. I've been saying 12 all along, 11 and 9, closing strong. You get two or three wins in the tournament, and maybe you sneak in on the bubble. Maybe. I, I think it's a long shot. I'm just looking. The bottom line is can, next you, get, game. can you get to the NIT? Yeah, but first nah, of all, can nah, you get nah, the nah. next game? Next game. We think about the next game, Illinois, they're out for revenge against us, but they're a quad one team. They're 14th in the nation. It would be a monster to win that game because after that, we don't play a team except Wisconsin. All right, well, Wisconsin at home is going to be very tough. Home for Wisconsin could be very tough. But you know what? Take them one quarter at a time, one half at a time. Don't look ahead. Saturday night, 5.30, get out here, all right, because this is going to be a classic game, and you'll see all those seats fill up with sales after tonight. I hope you are right. That will do it for this evening at Xfinity Center. So again, Maryland wins, and we're happy. Mason's away from the camera. I'm Wayne. That's Bruce. Good evening. Until next Center.